Good afternoon, good afternoon. We're going live playing some tournament poker. Yesterday we actually had a winning day, which is amazing. Okay, here she is, the big boy event. My party poker is timing out. I just bet. Oh my god, what's going on? Alright, let's defend a 3-bit here in the 500. Like a base queen. Queen, 9-3. Very good flop. Sorry guys, I, I've just been losing every all-in and now I'm just having software issues and it's just tilting. Thanks for the sub, Chen God. I mean, I think the good thing about this board is that there is, I think, bluffs that, be, that come very naturally to people here, which is good. That's 147, we're gonna call. I'd say like, the bad river is a king. Eight on the river. Fires a shove on the river. I'd say this is kind of tricky, so I'm gonna have pocket nines. I mean, ace queen with no heart here is a pretty good call, I feel like. Nice. Just wanted to look at my range quickly and see, like, uh, see how many better hands I have in that spot. Nice, what a pot. Let's go, 1.1 million. And it folds to me. Let's go for the open. See it flat in the small blind. Hopefully we get a shove. No. Check it back. So they could bluff some ace-10, some king-10 that don't 3-bet. King-queen, I guess, could bluff. I mean, these are pretty... Man, he bets pot. These are pretty common 3-bets. But I guess on this stack, they're going to be calling a lot. Okay, I think call, like, drawing... Drawing to the nuts here, covering for the bounty. There is uh, possible flush draws as well for bluffs that I beat. Finds an overbet jam. Wait, just fold here. All right, we get a shove and a call. Let's go. Big flip in the 530. Come on. Please. Boom. Let's go, baby. Such an insanely strong start here in the 530. We won, uh, we won a three-bet part where we called down a triple barrel, and now we want a big all-in. Feels good. Two queens in the Masters. Open under the gun. Three-bet under the gun. One. So will just be a 4-bet for me. Oh, I also have queens in the 530. Queens, ace-king, and aces. This guy had one or no big blinds, though. Just got to win against ace-king. Nice. Up to 486k here. And now we have a really good spot to squeeze because this guy's flatted off a short stack, which is going incentivize, to incentivize me to squeeze like an animal. Go for this big squeeze here. Just want to make it look like I'm knocking him out of the pot. And, like, if I had him, like, King Jack suited, I'd want to do the same thing here. Absolutely. We want to do the same thing. Like, I feel like my range likes to play... Like, a lot of my linear value range likes to play, like, like this kind of strategy. So, actually, a very good flop. Expect to take it down a lot right now. And if not, let's play aggressive on the turn. Does just fold... So yeah, I think my pocket pairs want to just blast here. Oof, three? So, I get to play for um, a starting bounty and more than a starting bounty. For 20 big blinds, it's not going to affect my tournament situation at all here. I still have 150 big blinds. And I have a pocket pair. There's going to be times where one of them folds and I go heads up against the flip. I'm going to suck out sometimes with a three. Like, that is that is going to happen. It's not like my pair's dead. I'm going to get there sometimes. Pretty good flop, actually. It's a big pop for us. Kind of like a raise here. So, I don't know. I kind of feel like an interesting play. Goes for a three bet. I don't really get it. I'm going to call. Getting an infinite price. My range is protected. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to call. We now have some flushes, too. I've really definitely taken a weird line here. Shoves river. Wow. So sick. What the fuck is this hand, dude? I mean, a big blind 3-bet 
This is so weird. <laughs> Dude, I want to call so bad, but like this all starts with this tight ass range. Can I get a three bit bluff here? I don't know. This. And I'm gonna regen. Against the 20 big blind open, we just wanna regen our suited broadways here. Big blind's not like deep enough to make me wanna three bet instead. See a nice arrays, let's call. Nice flop, check. See about a 40k on a queen four five. Ace, queen, king, queen, queen, jack, pocket fours, pocket fives. I think ISOing all those is, is probably going to be happening. Quite a few better top pairs here. Obviously, I really like my hand still, but I don't think I want to do a lot of raising and stacking off with the queen 10. Let's get a barrel. Let's keep calling. Okay, trips on the river. Does bring in the spades. Snap, check, check. All right, looks like we might stay alive in the 320. I'll take a look at what he had in a second. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. That's okay. Holy shit, we got kings. All right, let's squeeze to 11 here. Guy's got 2.6 milli. Is he chip leading? No, he's in second place. Great flop. A raise. I think I like shove, honestly. If we call out a position, we see a lot of rivers, and I really don't mind stacking off here. So... Oh, so many chips, man. Oh my god, so many chips. 172 big blinds in the 530, man. Wow. Oh, we got kings again. This guy still has 1.7 milli. Let's get another pot with this guy. Oh, let's see a call. Or a raise. Okay, I'm going to mix in a call this time. I was honestly going to suggest the first few lines of a meno when he's singing in Latin. I'm going to have to rewatch that, I think. Figure it out. Du, du, du. 50 players left. He's all in with Queen Jack O. Take it down with the Kings. Nines against Queen Jack. We're going to win that one as well. Let's go. Get a flat. I'm going to trap again here. Just kind of like how the stack sizes are sitting in this last few spots. Party Poker RU. Thank you for the raid. It's flat against the three bet with the Jacks. Queen nine. Three, quick big bell. Just a call here with the aces. <laughs> Race call, I'm gonna call. Oh. Such a strong range, I don't know. I get called from like King Jack. Ace Jack, Queen Jack. This guy too, right? How? What the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna go for the shove here. 230 big blind stacks, we cover both late position. Can play very aggressive with the suited broadways here. First place in the 530 will be between 16 and 24k. Just depends on how the bounties work out. Pick it up. So, like, you can see the prize pool here. 8.5k for first. But for winning bounty tournaments, it's either double or triple first place. For example, yesterday, I won a tournament that ended up being three times what this number showed. So, sometimes, sometimes it can be three times as much. Usually not, but sometimes. Ace King suited, I'm gonna raise. Ace five, I'm C betting. Never mind, I'm gonna oh, ISO jam. Okay, 
Come on, sixes. No, I'm not losing the sixes. No way. Oh. Where are the deep runs at? Alright, check it back here. Another check, eh? They're dodging. Bro, these guys are dodging. I think I'm gonna ISO raise this one. Feels like I really want to play in position against Crowd here, and I, I really don't mind taking the variance of this spot either. Alright, Queen Jack, Ace King. That's not bad. Ace in the flop. It's okay. Alright, two sevens here. We're 21 out of 52 now. Our stack is not that impressive. Let's go. We have one bounty to our name. Alright, big squeeze out of the big blind. Um, so we know this guy's pretty aggressive. I think flopping sets against this guy would definitely pay out big. I think I'll call. 8-6 deuce. This guy's so loose. He just shoves. <laughs> 2x pot. He's just playing so ridiculous. I don't really want to fold, like... What's the, what's the risk reward here? I mean... I call on one of the biggest stacks getting closer to the bubble. <gasps> Got him. Let's fucking go. If he had like aces or kings, I don't think he would shove. I really don't. Even this guy. I've seen him bet pot with nothing. We've seen it before. But like the main point is that if he did have his like bit best value hands, I doubt he would just shove. So that's where that's coming from, basically. That's why I call for 2x pot. And it pays off in a big way. We're top five. Guys, I, have, I literally have top set against this guy right now. It's insane. Okay, screw that end. This end's way crazier. No way. I check call against this guy. Oh, no way. <laughs> oh my god, no way. I mean, he could have anything. He, he, he can have a jack too. We do have outs against a jack. Oh, I'll be so sick. Yes! <laughs> I'm rich! I'm rich! Oh my god, I'm rich. So I'm going to defend against the 3x here. Our hand's not that good, but I think getting paid is is relatively easy here. And the bounty is massive, so we want to take a lot of risk against this guy. Pick up a pair. Okay. Checks it back. We got two pair now. I think overbetting to be able to shove on decent rivers is probably best. Rivers the seven. I feel like our hand works better, better as a check now. All right, we take it down. It's too bad about the river. This there's a decent amount of rivers where I can just shove there, but that's a nice pot anyway. Oh, at least he's v-pipping. That's good. We have a top pair. So on this board against this guy, I actually really like a big bet it's actually a good board for big sizing anyway no all right well we can still win a pot against the big blind still a top pair top kicker they do find a check on the turn not a lead i think i want to bet anyway take it down all right round two Back-to-back -back ace-kings on the bubble. Pretty sick, actually, as the chip leader here. Oh, it's $1,000. He has a $950. Please, man. Please. Fucking please. No.
It's two buy-ins. It's the biggest bounty in the tournament, man. Oh my god. Fuck, that's so sick. Picked up another Ace King. This guy folded though. Anyway, let's raise here. Start with a big bet here. Draw heavy board. We have the Ace of Spades. Yeah, looks like a spot where we can end up barreling quite a bit. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely play the Irish Open. Definitely. We lost our boy. This man found a flush over flush. Ugh, fucking must be nice, man. I also found 8 million chips, but he found the bounty. So, we're gonna lose a player. Alright, guys, we're in the money. Somebody has bubbled. Pocket fours, however. Don't mind a raise here. Just gonna use small sizing. Three short stacks on my table. Does make the call. I'm pretty happy just see betting the fours here. Sleeping, man. This guy's maxed. I think I'd actually call a shove here, too. Since it's on the button. Yeah, I think closing the action on the button, we want to gamble for this. Good luck. Gambling. Like, I think our equity is pretty good here, so that's what it is. All right, we're flipping. 50-50, pretty much. That's a good turn. Boom! Yes, dude. It pays off. Wow, I did. Honestly, I did not know 9-10 suited had 47% against A6. That's pretty good. Okay, get to defend the 5-9. A weak flusher here just to check call. Especially against this guy. 10 is just gonna let him barrel like a shit ton. This guy does bet 80%. Baby goats with the 777 bounty. Looking good. We take these. Good luck. We're flipping. It's a big ass bounty. In the 530. Let's go. Boom. We're making some bands. Look at that. I just picked up a $700 bounty. Just crushed our score in the 77. Not even close. Crushed it. Just trying to think if I actually had license to like be that wide here. Like 10 8 suited, I would open instantly. 10 7 suited, I would open instantly. 10 6 is like, okay, well, you kind of have a bad hand here. I think I'm going to fire a double here. Put a lot of pressure on 8x and pocket pairs. I didn't want to bet that big because I don't think I fold out an ace or a king with the 80% or pot size here. I had terrible equity. 28 bigs, we will call here. The ace queen suited, big spot. To flip. Is this the tourney? Is this the tourney? Yes, man. Boom, it's happening. We're actually running so good. And a big boy. Ship leader 18 left. So we see a flat out 15 blinds, which is already weird. It's already very weird, actually. <clears throat> Let's get about a quarter again on this flop. All right, double barrel gets through. All right, Chandler Bing, four hundred and thirty-seven dollar bounty, sitting on two big blinds. I actually like, I actually like a raise fold here, because I think these guys are all on a stack where. I just think this is effective. I just don't think they want to like ship it for how deep they are. It's not like they're on, they're on 25. They have to risk quite a lot. The bounty is big enough to gamble for as well. So this guy goes with it. Whatever. He's got 11. It's an extra three. We have a live king for two bounties. Seven deuce. I actually beat queen 10. Oh, I beat queen 10. Let's go. I beat queen 10 for the bounty. Let's go. Nice. Another $300 there. If I do go heads up with a big blind, is really high. And the negative of race folding off 100 big blinds is very low. Hey, nice. We could do go heads up. Do we get the bounty, though? Yes. Do we win? Maybe. It's 400 bucks. Yeah, look how well that paid off. Boom. Look at that. $400 raid from Jamie. The run good raid. Do we have an all in here? Sixes and King Jack suited. This is going to be a tough win for sixes. 
Okay, we have lost our ninth place finisher. We are down to eight. Hand for hand play now, final table bubble. It is seven at the FT. Makes more sense with the even final two tables, four on each table. Makes sense. Let's fold the eight, nine. Okay, okay, okay. We're back in the game. <clears throat> Quarter a third. I got third on this board. Fold! Okay, turn us to 10. I have some jack 10, some 7 10. I'll have some 8 9 maybe against the third. King Queen probably calls quite a bit pre as well. They have a lot of good hands. They also have some weak hands here the weaker jack X, the weaker 7x. I have a pretty natural bluff and not. Many bluffs left, actually. So I'll probably will fire this one. Call, call, Jack. Pretty shitty river. I mean, Jack X is just a snap call now. He's still going to have King Queen, I think. He's still going to have 8 9. Um, I think I fold out a lot of the 7x on the turn. I think 10x should be very careful in the turn. That's so sick. Gonna rejam against the button here. I mean, calling is also very good. I mean, calling is also just very good. Yeah, let's call. Let's call. We're gonna float a smaller bet sizing here. So yeah, we're gonna float against this sizing. Turn to the nine. If he barrels, I guess I'll fold. Although I do still have uh, quite a few gutters at this stage. Guy does have a really good bounty, but it's it is a, little, a big risk to my stack, and he's not gonna shove worse than this. So he does go for it. He does go for it. A lot of flips, a lot of 60-40s. Big bounty. Queen 10 offsuit. Just trying to think about this stage of the tournament. Okay, I call and lose, then what? Where are we what are we sitting? I don't like that very much. It just feels like a bit too much, big blind wise, at this stage. Should we switch up the FT? We don't have to go for this one. So there's a very clear short stack here. First thing I noticed, there's like somebody that should bust first. Mandalorian, he's on eight big blinds, big difference. I'm actually not gonna defend this. I think we do raise this. Adios has a big bounty. Nine six seven, pretty good flop. Six seven ten eight. I feel like I do have the sets. I do have some of these two pairs in the suited division. Okay, I do pretty well on this board. Yeah, we, we have some of the better combos. We have a good top pair as well in our actual hand. Not that I cover by like a ton or anything. Ten five four. Turn is a six. Expect them to bet a lot here. So we're not gonna go anywhere with my, with my five. River is a jack. So both flush draws brick. A lot of seven X, eight X bluffs brick. It's kind of interesting like how much 10 X he would value bet here. Like, I don't know if he would keep going with his 10 X very aggressively or not, like slow down. I'm getting a very good price here with a lot of draws missing. This seems like a close one. Wow. Wow, I mean, it's a fucking good value bet, but wow, come on. Yeah, it's a good value bet, man. I'm not used to people like going for it with the six there. I don't know, how do I play this as a bounty stack? This is weird, actually. I don't really know. I think it, it makes sense to me, but we'll see what happens. 23, 25, 25. Does get snapped off by the queens. Do we have our first ladder? Can we make some more money? Yes. Wow, unlucky. Unlucky to run into queens. Queens going for the flat. Not a very common one. Aces and kings, yes, but queens not so much. Okay, ace king. Oh, and you shove too. Yes. No. 
Five out of six, I kind of wanted to do is, like, I kind of want to take on some variants here, I think. Take on some variants. We gotta go post. We gotta go post. Should get jammed on a lot, though, with the, the big bounty, like I said. Hello? Folded? It's like added incentive for that play. God, we might just have to run it, man. We might just have to run it here with a pair on the flop. I mean, if he bets like 3.5, four big blinds, I kind of hate my hand. I might just fold, but... <laughs> if he goes for one third like this, I feel like maybe we should just run it. 4.5 in the middle. It's, a, it's quite a big pot for us to win, actually. I suppose I could call too, but I'm just not, I'm sitting there with a pot size bet left on the turn. All right, let's go for it. We need a little bit of gamble in our game here at this stage. He's got a top pair, and he's gonna hold. All right, GG's. Um, sixth place in the 5:30. Yeah, that's too bad. It's kind of a stage of the stage of the final table being the second shortest stack where. I mean, like, just continuously folding, trying to scoop one more ladder in this kind of format, where chipping up actually does hold... Chipping up does hold value, I think, in this kind of stack distribution. So, I don't know. I don't really mind it. It's the chip leader. He's going to raise a shit ton of hands. He's going to miss. He's going to fold a bunch. He's going to have a worse five. There's tons of good stuff that's going to come from that hand. It was risky to shove with bottom pair, because he might have a top pair. might have an over pair. But against the wide range... Kind of needing some gamble. Nice cash for 4.5k. Not the finish we wanted. I don't know. That might have looked dumb to a lot of people to bust there. It doesn't look very natural. It doesn't feel like our hand's that good. But with how much was in the middle and how much he should fold and the benefits of him folding or getting there or whatever else, I think it's good enough. But yeah, anyway. GG, guys. Nice score. This is our daily totals today. 2k in buy-ins, 5.4k in caches. That's a good day. It's a good day in poker tournaments. GG's, guys. GG's.